getting it, cuz. Send that thing. It's your boy, Jay Mitch. Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy, Jay Mitch. I'm up here today with y'all for another unboxing sort of a situation. So I'm going to say if you haven't yet, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my video description for additional links to my social media accounts um, and where I shop, RC Discount Superstore. Um, and also our, you know, unofficial sponsors of today's videos. Um, just all the details of everything that's in this video will be in that video description. So let's go ahead and get to the shits, guys. Y'all know how I do. Also, I don't always, I don't push my Facebook page like I, I should. I do have a Facebook fan page, Instagram, all types of socials uh, for you to be in contact with me. Also, my email address, jmitch, j.mitch dot rc at gmail.com if you have any questions or you want to talk about any potential builds uh you have going on or you want me to do for you holla at your man anyway uh let's get to the shits guys so first thing i want to unbox is something that i missed last time during our video uh i have an uh 3s lipo for my little C moto. This is a 5,000 milliamp hour 35C lipo for the low C. And yes, I did check and it does fit. This is from rcbattery.com. Uh, this is the Liparier um, battery. Um, there is uh, um, conversations that I had that said these were are the same types of cells that they use at Turnergy uh, for their normal Turnergy HD packs. So uh, I run these packs a lot. They're cheap. They ship from Kali. You get them quickly. Um, there's always there's like daily sales. So definitely recommend checking out the Liparier battery brand. Shout out to uh, my homie David Dalmas for putting me down with Liparier. So that's that. This is gonna, I don't know. This could be a long unboxing. This might be a short unboxing, I don't know. All right, so in this box, in this package, let's see what we have for you guys. If I can get the bad boy open. Uh, this is, there's gonna be like another package coming like this. But this is the Hobby Star, um, uh, 4292 V2 sensorless brushless motor. And what's special about this motor is it works with that ESC that I unboxed in my last unboxing video. It has the sensor port here uh, for your, your temperature sensor. So it has some temperature sensor things that it can do and communicate and hopefully, you know, watch the performance of your LiPo and monitor the temperature uh, from that ESC that I bought. I will be doing a build with this combo in the next week or two. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna put that ESC with this motor in something sorta of, kinda of cool for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Uh, here's something else. I bought a few of these packs a couple years ago, never used them. Uh, these are some FPV packs from China Hobby Line, and these are 4S. I bought two of these. Um, figured between my, uh, my uh, Blackbird that I got and perhaps, perhaps even in my ProMoto MX, 4S LiPo that I can use to do speed runs with um, and flights with. So got a three or four of these packs, they were cheap. Um, a couple years ago, I don't think I ever did a formal unboxing on them. So here it is now, uh, straight out of China Hobby Line. Uh, these are 1300 milliamp hour, 100C LiPos, very small 4S LiPo. So I think these will be, these should be enough to get a good speed run in on the Pro Moto MX, um, and if not, we'll get a little bit bigger pack. This is package came from DHL. You guys should already know who this package is from. I always talk about Adam is Jay Mitch's unofficial, official sponsor of Jay Mitch RC. I would be remiss not to mention Vitavon. Shout out to my homie Danny Lou. And shout out to Arthur Singh. Always take care of me from Team Vitavon. Anything for almost any rig, they make some of the most beautiful, strongest, functional parts. 
I would feel guilty to ask for a discount on these parts. That's how great quality they are. The craftsmanship, the time, everything that they do, all the parts they develop. Number one, one of the best, best aftermarket RC hop-up companies in the world, Team Vitavon. Shout out to you guys. If, you ever, if you're in the US and you're looking for Team Vitavon, reach out to my homie, Danny Lou. You can reach out to me, because guess what? I'm sort of a bit of bond distributor. Hit me up. Might be able to do something for you. Love to work with you guys. Anyway, this is a mixed bag of parts, so I'm going to get into the shits. But you, no Vitavon package is complete without getting you some Vitavon stickers, man. Come on, man. Y'all know what we doing over here. You need the Vitavon development stickers, all different types of colors. These gold ones are new, man. I can't wait to put these on something. But I would love to say all these parts will belong to me, but some of them will appear in some of my builds and some of them won't. But I like to unbox stuff anyway. So in no particular order, let's just go through everything one by one. I see my my um, Promoto MX stuff kind of up top here. So guess what? Oh, and some XRT parts too. So so for the Promoto MX, for my Promoto MX, we got the front di uh, disc brake and we got the gold caliper. We also have the blue inserts for uh, the swing arm and someone in, somewhere in this box is the rear swing arm for my uh, Pro Moto MX. So I'll, when I come across it, I'll show it to you guys. All right, so another couple things that I have, this is going on my XRT, even though I'm like on the fence about it, part of me is like, sell it. Then another part of me is like, nah, John, go ahead and keep that XRT. You still got more work to put into it. So yeah, for right now, I'm going to invest a couple more dollars in the XRT. These are the bulkhead covers for the XRT and the X-Max. Also for the XRT and X-Max, I did go ahead and buy the front and rear upgraded uh, differential internals, ring and pinion gears for the uh, XRT. So this is all going in my XRT. And then let's just get into it, man. We got a whole bunch of goodies here. Now, I have a friend just went crazy. Shout out to the homie AJ. Uh, just went crazy on the fifth scale side of the game. Said, Jay, you know Vitavon? Jay, can you hook me up? He had a list of stuff. We sent it to Danny, got him straightened out. So this is all his parts here. We have, uh, he bought two sets of almost everything because he has a Crate N8S EXB and he has an Outcast EXB uh, 8S. So there's two of everything. So we got some dope ass wheel nuts for the Crate in, for set for the Crate in, and a set for the Outcast 8S. Um, we also have a bearing kit for the Outcast 8S and the Crate in 8S, two bearing kits. Uh, also, we have the bell crank set up for the Crate in 8S and Outcast 8S. Dope. Dope parts to have. I don't really want to get it. Okay, let's get into it. I'm just going to go across it as we come. So, he's also building a 5T, um, a brushless 5T. He said, Jay, who makes the best 5T brushless conversion kit? I said, look, there's a lot of people who make brushless versions 5T. He said, Jay, what about stupid RC? I said, would you buy something called stupid? I don't think so. I said, you want to do it right? There's a couple companies you go with. You can go with WFO for their motor mount. There's a few other guys that make dope motor mounts, but I said, if you're going to do that thing right, no second thought, top of the line, Vitavon. I got you. Put the stuff together, let's go. So here we go. We got the servo mount that you can use on your brushless 5B or 5T um, for the um, uh, uh, his fifth scale build. So he's he's not running a throttle servo. He's just going to be running a steering servo. So this is really nice. You have your steering servo placement, and you also have this little receiver box. That's really cool too. So that's a nice pickup for uh, my homie AJ. Also, we have um, a brushless motor mount. Uh, for the 5T 2.0, not mad at it. Also, um, we have the carbon fiber battery trays for the low C 5T 2.0. Very nice, very, very nice. 
Oh, hey guys, now we're back to me. Look at that. Hold up. This shit is gonna be crazy. Look, guys, I told y'all my Pro Moto MX is gonna be a problem. Look at the quality of this rear swing arm. This is the extended rear swing arm for my Pro Moto MX. I'm going with a gold and blue, you know, color scheme. So that's how come you saw this gold caliper. And that's why you see these blue inserts. And my Pro Moto MX is blue. Uh, yeah, so I'll, that's what I'm going with, with that. Um, so that's the Pro Moto MX parts. And here we have rear hubs for the Creighton 8S and Outcast 8S. I think he has two pairs of these as well. What else is in here? Look how they look how they wrap this. Look at the detail, the 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 care and quality and fast shipping. Dude, I tell you guys, I ordered this last Monday or Tuesday. I think he put that order in. There was a Chinese holiday. And I still got it in like three or four days after he shipped it, DHL. Took a day or two for the anodization that I wanted to get done. Uh, but yeah, we got the front knuckles for the Crate in 8S and Outcast 8S, just straight silver. That's what he wanted to go with, the raw. He wanted it raw, that's how we got them. What else is in here? Oh, look at that. Got the differential mount for the low C5 T2.0. Nice pickup there, my guy. Not mad at that. Again, this is again, another part for the Crate in 8S EXB. We got another set of rear um, hu uh, hubs. And then I think this is another set of front hubs. So he's got two of everything for the Crate in 8S, one for the Outcast 8S, and one for his Crate in 8S. Rear hubs, a pair of those bearings um, and uh, bell crank uh, servo savers for his crate and 8s so yeah guys yo shout out shout out to my guys over at team vitavon always take care of me and my peoples shout out to you danny thank you so much for the fast shipping and the service and being an official sponsor of j mitch rc um, so just want to say thank you for that and just you know just thank you thank you for everything you do for the hobby my guy you really doing it big and i wish you the best in all your future endeavors and i'm always when i'm doing my upgrades there's a couple companies that fall at the top and i always try to vitavine i have no problems with recommending to anyone you looking for top-notch stuff it's not cheap it's not going to be price cheap. It's going to cost some money. If you see Vitavon on people's car, that means they really love it and they spent the money because these guys, they just don't copy other people's stuff. They develop their own items, have their own CNC machines, factory programmed in this factory, doing big things here at Team Vitavon, trying to tell you. Uh, they really pay attention to detail and they really stand by their product. If you ever have an issue with Team Vitavine, you can email them directly. I always get mad when I see people bashing Team Vitavine on Facebook because I know them personally and I don't have anything invested, but I'm really big on customer service and they have some of the best customer service I've ever come across. So whenever I see somebody bad mouth, oh, Vitavine did this, Vitavine did that. I'm like, did you reach out to Danny? Did you reach out to Arthur? Did you reach out to anybody associated with Team Vitavine before you came and talked trash about them? Because I have firsthand knowledge and so do a lot of other people in the hobby. If you have an issue with Team Vitavine goods, if you email them, they will do everything in their power to take care of you. So just, to, just so you hear me say that, it's not a lot of companies that I would say that about. There are great companies. M2C, Vitavon, just bash it. You know, a lot of great companies that take care of their folks. Vitavon is one of my, it's probably my favorite aftermarket company because I deal with them the most. So I'm going to shut up and stop going in on Vitavon and saying how great they are. This, you know. I paid for all of this. None of this shit was free. This was 
mm, couple of dollars. This was money spent, you know, but they stand by their products. And when people stand by their products, you don't mind spending the money that it takes for them. So shout out to Danny Lou and shout out to Arthur Singh and everybody that is associated with Team Vitavon. Thank you so much for everything you've done for the hobby. Um, and um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video on that, guys. I'm gonna say thank you all for your time and your attention. Shout out to my homie Dave Hubbard, rest in peace. Rest in peace, my brother. Um, shout out to Big Willie. Shout out to the homie Ted. Shout out to Adam from RC Discount. Shout out to Hector and Mark from RC Discount. Again, shout out to my homie Danny Lou. My homie Danny Lou from Team Vitavon, from D's Creation. It started from D's Creation, then him and Arthur got together came up with this Team Vitavon and made it blow up. Team Vitavon was already popping, but when he got with Danny, everybody knows, that's when he got with Danny. Yo, they, they went, they blew up exponentially. So shout out to both of those guys. Always taking care of your boy. Um, and then just shout out to everybody that supports your man's channel. Thank you so much. Actually, shout out to AJ. AJ, local guy, we did some business together. We've been running, we've been hanging out, we've been doing some things. So hopefully I formed a good new friendship with someone local um, to do these things. Um, and shout out to all my guys in Philly with YouTube channels, Philly Swords, um, you know, Philly RC Drags. There's so many guys, my homie, um, Philly Reese, you know, so many guys in Philly doing it big on YouTube. Just want to support everybody in my in my Philadelphia PA area. So anyway, your boys talk too much. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all be good now. Peace. GoPro. Stop recording.